Unfortunately for Harry, he came across the body of Mon McCarthy. And within nine days of his discovery, he was charged with the murder of Mon McCarthy. Within five months then, Harry found himself convicted and he was executed in the following April in Mount Jai Prison. The Birmingham Six being driven away uh, to savour their first uh, moments of freedom. It now seems uh, that they may be about to say a lot more than they were prepared to say behind bars. From the very word go, the police told them that they were being set up, that they were going to be framed. Convicted of a crime he did not commit, Jerry Conlon, one of the so-called Guildford Four, spent over a decade behind bars, accused of killing five people and injuring 65 in the 1974 Guildford IRA pub bombing. The Irish Innocence Project, its home is at Griffith College. It's the only innocence project in the world whose home is a former prison where we believe at least one man by the name of Joseph Poole was wrongfully convicted, hanged, and is buried on the grounds. We want to be able to help that, that person who is in prison and doesn't deserve to be there. But in order to do that, we need, we need quite simply, funding. The Irish Innocence Project is the only innocence project serving Ireland and we provide all our services for free. We are faced with a a gap of 125,000 euro and that's our goal for this year so that we can continue to provide uh, the services we do to the people we do. Because there's a double level of injustice. The injustice of getting the wrong person, destroying their life, and of course, there's also the injustice of not getting the right person if a crime was committed in the first place. Dear Sirs, your group was brought to my attention by a fellow friend of mine in the legal profession. I learned about the Innocence Project from the Irish Times. I heard a radio broadcast earlier this year concerning your work in gaining a pardon for Harry Gleason. Through the other inmates, I got to hear about your address. I learned about your project from a fellow prisoner only in the past two days in case maybe you're wondering why I have not made contact sooner given that I am innocent and can prove I am innocent. I write in the hopes that you will take on my case. I'm a victim of a very serious miscarriage of justice. I was convicted of a crime I did not commit. I was sentenced to 12 years. I am currently serving 14 years. I am in prison over 17 years now for a crime I never done. 23 years. I serve a life sentence. I came across your project and feel if DNA and other important evidence had been investigated, I would not have been found guilty. Please would you send me the guidelines and questionnaire as I would be pleased for you to look into my case. Could someone from your office be able to come see me? I hope you can appreciate my anxiety regarding this situation I find myself in at the moment. I am being denied my very true freedom by the state and wonder could you help me out in this situation and give me a visit. Thank you for taking the time to read this letter. I would appreciate it if you would consider my case and help me find justice. I will never give up on my fight for justice. I will never give up my fight for justice. I will never give up my fight for justice. I am an innocent man who would like help, please. I hope to hear from you soon. Take care with supreme best wishes. With kind regard. Yours faithfully. Very truly yours. Be the key, set an innocent free.